G'day interwebs, I'm B-Man and this is The Outer Worlds. It's part two of my playthrough. Remember to hit that subscribe button and there is a playlist on my channel down in the description and in the information cards if you want to catch up on the previous part in the playthrough. So I am Bren Dangar. And I'm currently posing as Captain Alexander Hawthorne, Alex Hawthorne. If you give your companions, I, I should be reading this stuff. So I just entered this town, Edgewater, but I didn't really explore outside of it because I was kind of tired. And I've got some stuff to do out there. I'm supposed to be getting bounties from, um, for a grave digger. And he said that one of the people that I'm getting a bounty off of is in, on a launch pad outside the city. So I'm going to look for the launch pad before I go to Edgewater. Before I return to Edgewater. So I found a graveyard over here. But I didn't really explore it. Basic cigarette lighter, well used, most of the lighter fluid is gone. Taste the freedom with space's choice. Now with extra added artificial ingredients at no extra cost. Space's choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense, Defense Logistics. This game's so pretty. Is that another entrance to the city? Yes. Suspect the pads on the other side. So I was on this colony ship and the colony ship got knocked off of course and I've been in stasis for 70 years. This guy got me out of stasis and now I'm trying to find a engine for his ship. Space's choice automated sales unit vending machines. Vending machines offer a variety of items for purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the machine. Restricted items on a vendor can be 
only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with a faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. I haven't unlocked the ability though. Wow, so there's all different. How many bits do I have? 45. So I can't buy anything interesting. Okay, so there should be a dude at the landing pad. Are these different vending machines? Yes, they are. But I mean, they're all too expensive for me. What's my inventory like? I have a bunch of food. A bunch of nanas. So where's this guy? Now travel the edge water landing pad for my ship, except for my ship can't take off. All right. Set active. Now I should be able to see the guy, right? Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Silas sent me. You owe him your gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Are you okay? You seem confused. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Uh, yeah, gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance. If your resistance needs another gun, I am for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacers chaw, few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper army's pay enlistment fees is a persuade five answer that I'm going to give him. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Got 75 bit cartridges. What do you need done? 
They have sent a scout, prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. If I'm going after this mechanical scout, I could use a couple pointers. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Got a question for you. Go on. What exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Go on. What do you have against mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. I'm pretty sure that's what they were programmed to do. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. I mean, personally, I agree with this guy. I think Skynet is inevitable. I'll let you be. Okay, Dangar is not a double jumper. Junkyard. Blue square thing in it. Warning. Damaging company property will result in deducted pay. Wow, the... The whole messages flash up so quickly I don't get to read them all. become daytime during that fight.
Hey Ludwig. Bring us honor, soldier. You don't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. I'd rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hide your, you hid your secret weapon in a lavatory. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has <laughs> need to enter. I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Go on. Hey, it's all they're saving. It's the grave guy. There he is. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Hey, about those fees that you wanted. You run into any trouble? Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay, so in Edgewater I've got to try and find a power regulator for the ship that I've borrowed. I'll probably find it by talking to the town later. Cantina. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Spacer's choice takes care of its own.
barber shop. I see the container as well. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Silas sent me to collect your juice. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care. Pay up. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Alright, gotta look around this guy's office. He's got money. Leather from Phyllis. Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Space's choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. What can I do for you?
I know about Eugene. Why not? Mm. You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You're going to have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Fine, say up. How do I put my gun away? I hold down. Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got work. Did you read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure yeah, there is. We can have another zero G. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... to, uh... Where am I again? I've been asking myself that same question. Oh, I ask myself questions all the time. For example, why do we spend money on these fancy latrines when we have a perfectly good wall outside? Shouldn't you be working? I am in no condition to do any work. Not so long as my injuries trouble me. You were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. You sound like you need a surgeon. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. I'll leave you, Betty. Spacer's Choice takes care of its own. We don't get a lot of visitors. I don't 
know you. Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Uh-huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Something going on here that I should know about. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <sighs> Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Fine. What's this about deserters? Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? I want to talk to Reed. Where can I find him? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. If you want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. You say that like it's a good thing. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. I'll have a drink. Coming right up. Your merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices, prices when buying and selling from vendors. Hundred and twenty bits. Meh. Yeah.
Okay, so there's a guy at the cannery that I have to get money off of. And there's a guy who lives near the cannery who's apparently a whole bunch of trouble. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. I need to fix a ship, you know, where I can find parts. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Let me see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Whoa. Work your jaw on some Spacer's Chaw. Music to my ears. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Just keep working. Work fortifies the spirit. Day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got one. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. I know how you feel. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Got some questions for you, if you don't mind. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. 
Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Look like there's a, looks like there's a bounty on his head. You're correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. Never mind. Interesting jumpsuit you've got. And by interesting, I mean suspiciously reminiscent of contraband. If you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a spacer's choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. as long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. So who do you work for, Spaces Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the Board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Never mind. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. At least you got your health. Man, days and nights fast on this planet. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. 
Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Do you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He told me everything. How long did you think you, you could keep a secret like that? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Why do you think I'm a freelancer? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it. Wasn't trying to insult you. Why would I be insulted? Or it's just you ain't one of us. A spacer, I mean. Stands to reason you got no company looking after you. Not your fault, though. Even freelancers gotta eat. And if that means they must scratch some bits out of odd jobs, who am I to judge them? At least you're not a deserter. What kind of job are you, what kind of odd job are you referring to? Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work, that's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine and bring it back to me. Not so fast, I've got some questions. I'll do what I can. I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. What can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Why can't you just buy some I tried medicine yourself? Myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. In other words, the Trump the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Anything I should know about this community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. You're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. 
I'll leave you be. Bling. making a mistake working for Abernathy. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. I don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Abernathy is paying for me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you.
Okay, I have to stop playing because my eyes are going funny. Rotate my saves. Okay, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was my second um, The Outer Worlds video. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit the subscribe button and feel free to like, comment, and share. Um, also, check out my other videos on my YouTube channel. I've got heaps of different games there. I'm sure there's something you'd enjoy. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, interwebs. See you in the next video.